NATO preparing for war with Russia much faster, Putin's ally in Europe. Western countries are currently engaged in active preparations for entering into a direct conflict with Russia, Serbian President Alexander Vucic believes. The West would like to conduct warfare from a distance, through someone else, through investing money and so on, but at the moment they are not ready for a direct conflict with Russia. Will they be ready? They are not ready now, but I think they will be ready. They are already preparing for a conflict with the Russian Federation, and they are preparing much faster than some people would like to see in every sense. We know that from the military preparations, we know how they're going, and I want to tell you they are preparing for a military conflict. Vuvic told the Pink TV channel. Earlier, the Serbian president emphasized that the West, as long as people from the West do not die, or only volunteers die, does not care how many Ukrainians will die. This, according to the Serbian leader, is because Russia has a lot of oil, gas, phosphates, gold and silver and everything they need. He also cited ideas coming from the Scandinavian countries that Russia does not deserve to have such territory because it is the province of all mankind. The Serbian leader's remarks came weeks after NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg told reporters that the military alliance has more than 500,000 troops on high readiness, meaning forces could be deployed within 30 days. Since 2014, NATO has undergone the most significant transformation in our collective defense in a generation. We have put in place the most comprehensive defense plans since the Cold War, Stoltenberg said at a joint press briefing with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. We have 500,000 troops at high readiness and we have doubled the number of battle groups in the eastern part of the alliance, Stoltenberg continued. He described Russia's war in Ukraine as a brutal assault on a peaceful democratic nation. This war is propped up by China, North Korea and Iran. They want to see the United States fail. They want to see NATO fail. If they succeed in Ukraine, it will make us more vulnerable and the world more dangerous. So our support for Ukraine is not charity. It is in our own security interest, he said. Stoltenberg added, we all want this war to end. But a Russian occupation of Ukraine offers no peace, and capitulation to Putin offers no security. The stronger our support, the sooner the war will end. Yemen's Houthi militant group has attacked a container ship with Ukrainians on board near the Yemeni port city of Mocha in the Red Sea. The attack occurred on July 20, while the video footage from the incident circulated on Telegram app on July 23. Maritime News reported with reference to the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, that the Houthis launched two drone attacks on the container ship. The first attack was launched with the use of an unmanned aerial vehicle that exploded in the immediate vicinity of the ship, causing minor damage. The second attack on the ship was carried out by a surface unmanned vehicle, which also exploded in close proximity to the ship. The ship and the crew members were safe after the attack. A security officer later reported that a missile had been spotted, passing the vessel and hitting the water near the vessel. The UKMTO urged all ships to transit the sea with caution and to report any suspicious activity. Meanwhile, Reuters news agency reported with reference to a maritime security source that the attacked vessel was a Liberian-flagged container ship. Following the attack, it continued to maneuver at a maximum speed in order to escape. According to marine traffic data, the ship departed Jeddah, Saudi Arabia on July 18 and was scheduled to arrive at a port in Malaysia on July 28. Okay, 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 this, блять, видео, видео.